Hey guys, Michelle here, Associate Editor at ErgonomicTrends.com, and today I'm going to be breaking down the best types of chairs for studying. If you're a student, you're probably all too familiar with the aches and pains in your body after a long study session. According to one study, a whopping 74% of college students experience lower back pain. Apart from remembering to get up frequently and move your body, a good chair can help tremendously. Here are the best types of chairs according to ergonomists. For long study sessions, the best type of chair is one that supports all the major parts of your body that fatigue after a while. Think your neck, shoulders, and lower back in particular. For people that often study for main hours on end, ergonomists recommend a high back chair with an adjustable headrest. It offers the best full body support when properly configured. Without a headrest, the natural tendency is to crane your neck forward at the computer. This adds tremendous pressure to the cervical spine. Studies have shown that even a 15 degree forward tilt of the neck doubles the amount of force exerted on our spine. Make sure the headrest can be adjusted at least for height, and ideally pivot as well. Another type of chair that can be conducive for studying is a forward tilting office chair. For students in particular, studying usually involves reading a textbook or taking notes where the gaze is fixated downwards on the desk surface, versus straight ahead looking at a computer screen. In such cases, an office chair whose seat can tilt forward can be a big asset. This neutral sitting position not only naturally directs your gaze slightly downwards, but has been shown to reduce back pain. A study by Dr. A.C. Mandel showed that declined sitting posture can significantly reduce lower back fatigue by making it easier to maintain the lumbar curve, plus shifting part of the body weight to your thighs. This is why students naturally tilt their chairs forwards at school when sitting if their back is tired. As students, it's easy to get lost in your studies. Before you know it, you've spent the whole night sitting in your chair. Active sitting chairs combat the fundamental health issues associated with sitting still for a long time. They do this by promoting micro-movements as you sit or positioning your body in a way that deviates from the standard sitting posture. There are many types of active sitting chairs on the market. Kneeling chairs, yoga ball chairs, sit-stand stools, etc. The best approach is to get an active sitting chair and alternate it with a regular office chair when you need to study for long hours. The idea is not to stay in the same sitting posture for a long time. Last but not least, there are office chairs with flip-up arms. With dismissible arms, these types of chairs excel at fitting into tight spaces, something teenagers and college students will really appreciate. The downside of office chairs with flip-up arms is that the armrests are typically not adjustable in any way other than being dismissible. This means they won't support your arms as well as other office chairs, especially during prolonged sitting sessions. However, they do allow you to tuck the chair under any desk with ease, or create more lateral space for yourself when you need it. For example, when you're playing an instrument such as the guitar. Regardless of which chair you choose, nothing replaces getting up and moving around periodically. You can find a list of specific chairs we'd recommend in the description below. You can also visit ergonomictrends.com to get guides on the best ergonomic practices that can help you study longer while still staying comfortable and healthy.